Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, yeah. with uh, Superfly Jimmy Snooker, brother. Yeah. Taking on Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yeah. With Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Mm-hmm. With Cowboy Ace Bob Orton. Yeah. Randy Orton's daddy. <laughs> yeah. Not an attractive man. No. No. Randy no. Orton got all those jeans from his mummy. Yes, he did. So, Piper's team comes out first. Yes. I fucking love yeah. that bagpipe intro that he got. Yeah. That gave me that Did it? I felt like this is main event. Okay. I was getting hyped. I've seen this match like three times before. Right. I was getting excited. It was a big entrance. And he's just so charismatic. One of the most naturally charismatic yes. people in wrestling for me, Roddy Piper. Mm-hmm. He could talk about anything and make you you're engaged, whether it's absolute drivel or what. Yeah. You're just focused on him. So so good. And again, just like anything with bagpipes kind of I'm not Scottish, but I felt like, oh, it's kind of referring to the oh, UK. Yeah. Because I think he does have Scottish ancestry, but he's mm-hmm. Canadian. Oh, okay. So, don't know if you oh. knew that. No, I didn't. I'd be honest, I've assumed, I've, I've heard him speak for sure, but I, my memory is yeah. awful. So you hear bagpipes, you see a bit of tartan, you think, oh, definitely Scottish. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I believe he was Scottish, yeah. to be fair, back when I was a kid. And this is obviously who inspired Ronda Rousey yeah. to... All her gear. So then we hear it, or, well, we hear what they play on the network. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Whether it's there or not, it doesn't It doesn't stop me. It makes me happy. Yeah. We hear Real American, but I don't think that is what was played. No. I think it was actually Eye of the Tiger that they played in the stadium. Oh, but they won't have been able to put the copyright of that. The licensing they would have done, so they dubbed it. I think that's the case anyway. And it makes sense. Why do you think it will start? Very good question. And this is a mini story time. Oh, gosh. Okay. So Fell right into that one, didn't I? You did, yeah. You did see it coming. <laughs> I laid the trap perfectly. So Hulk Hogan, mm. when he worked previously for uh, Vince McMahon Sr., so he wanted and had an opportunity to appear in a movie. Mm-hmm. Vince Sr.'s like, I don't want Ooh, my wrestlers appearing in movies. Mm-hmm. Hulk went, well, it's an opportunity for me. I've got to do this. And Vince said, fine, I'm never booking you again. Wow. Wow. Hulk went to do the movie he played Thunderlips yeah and he had the mixed martial arts match with Rocky Balboa oh. so you that's where Hulk Hogan oh. first burst onto the screen um, and Vince Inya to his word didn't bring Hulk back it was only when Vince Jr got in charge of booking that Hulk actually did come oh, wow. back so- mm. wow okay there you go Thank you. Well, that was that was, no, that was that was informative. That I wasn't was. actually planning on telling you that, no. but you are. So yeah, and obviously that's how he met Mr. T because that was the film where Club oh. Land, Mr. T was the the main protagonist. Gosh, was the bad see guy. if I used my brain sometimes, or I'd be lethal because you say all that and it makes so much sense. And in my head, I'm watching it and I'm going, "Why is Mr. T there?" But, but it makes so much sense because you're because so Rocky Three would have been around this time yeah. to be fair, about eighty four, eighty three. Yeah. So I think. You know all the individual components, but you don't necessarily see the I interconnecting d- threads between the barely two. Barely capable of stringing a sentence together, let alone bringing the link- links together. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> she was the one that wanted to do this podcast. Yes. <laughs> so we hear Real American through the, the mm-hmm. network, and I said it really does start to feel like a big show now. Yes. It feels like a big event. The crowd yeah. are hot. They weren't bad throughout the night, no, to be fair. No, but, but it's definitely that all led up to peaking here. It has, for sure. Before the match even starts, a scuffle nearly breaks out immediately. Um, but we've still got Muhammad Ali in the ring, and Piper actually yes. visibly puts his hands up and walks yeah. away from, from mm-hmm. Ali, which I thought was nice because yeah. Roddy Piper doesn't back down from anyone in, in wrestling, but he knows enough mm-hmm. to stay away from that fire. A group hugged by Piper to rally the troops, and I love that because it looks so stupid. Just him going like, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. in the corner. Brilliant. And now we're underway. How does... I've said this before. I'll say it again. Whenever he's on my screen, i say it again. Hulk Hogan. Um, he was 32. Oh. How does he look like? He's about 65. He looks Brother. younger. He looks, to me, he looks younger with the bandana, the dark beard with the bleached bit over the top, or natural, I don't know. It just, he looks younger there than he does here. I think he goes like 40s, 50s, late 30s, 40s, it's 70s. It's crazy, isn't it? That's how he's it's aged. It's boggling. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't age linearly. And also, when he walks to the ring, why is he wearing a sweatband around his hair? Interesting. Because he's got no, there's okay. nothing up there. Did you know that the WWF uh, cameras were specifically instructed for production purposes to never make sure that you're filming the bald spot on his head? So they had to cut cameras around where he was in the ring. 
Really? Yep. Because it was seen as a, a less than perfect flaw in the character. And also they would spend thousands of dollars mm. whenever he was on a magazine cover to get hair airbrushed on onto the picture. But everyone would have known... Yeah, because they're not stupid. Oh, my God. Okay. But this was well, the I didn't whole... didn't know that, but thank you. This was the whole marketing thing behind it. Wow. Couldn't have a flaw. Couldn't have a flaw. Just put a band- bring the bandana in earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh, never mind. Wasn't really part of the culture. Then, no, though, I was, was going to say, I don't think it so came into later. People like the do-rag after the kind of... Because NWO had a bit of a counterculture, grungy kind mm-hmm. of... Even like rap-related links to it, so it kind of made sense for it to happen. Yeah. But you're right. Yeah, why? So we see Orndorff immediately waves off Hogan and tags Piper. He's not he's not interested in, yeah. in going against Hulk Hogan. Also, that guy, that's Mr. Wonderful, Mr. right? Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. He looks like a Kendall. I get that. In that in that an eighties Tough guy as well. Ken- really. Kendall. And I did Google stuff about him and then I got did you very see that arm condition. I got very into a rabbit hole and I was like, I need to come out of this because I'm so confused about this. You, he is a kindred spirit of you in many respects. Oh, yeah. Because he had <laughs> severe neck-related issues oh, okay. that resulted in basically the nerves going down one side of his mm-hmm. arm not being able to be used and his arm, right arm, withered. Yeah. So it was like almost... Oh, uh, so he like lost a lot of like muscle tone and stuff. In, all of it. All and of like it. he was still yoked on the other side. Yeah. And oh, it was just okay. a... Yeah, and it looks really weird. So it's in the 90s in yeah, WCW. Yeah, because it said, it said something about it's more apparent, like he injured himself doing something, I can't remember. But it said it's more apparent in later 100%. Oh, it's, shows. You, you can't like, not see it. I was like, oh, I, I need to focus on what's actually going it's on. It's like a baby's than... arm. It's oh, so odd. Gosh. Um, but I think he might still be alive now, actually. Okay. One of the few from uh, this era that's still oh. still around. I don't think he's necessarily in great shape. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Mm. So Orndorff waves off Hogan, tags in Piper. Mr. T starts going nuts on the apron. Mr. Oh, yeah. T wants... Cause Roddy Piper was a very controversial promo. He would say a lot of things that were right. You could take as racist, of, okay. and some of them fell on the wrong side of that as well. Right. I don't know if he was necessarily a racist individual, but he certainly that's what the promos to, were. Yeah, he did, and he had a, a incident with Jimmy Snooker as well. Mm. So you know, have you heard of Piper's Pit, which yes. was like the original uh-huh. interview section? Mm-hmm. So that was what Piper used to do. He had Jimmy Snooker on as a guest once. And then he basically said, oh, I bet you used to climb in trees and you want a banana. And was throwing bananas at him. Stop. And then coconuts as well. And there's a famous scene where he grabs a coconut and hits Snooker in the head. And the coconut explodes. And Snooker collapses through the... Jesus Christ. But all the stuff he's saying is like basically, oh, you're a monkey. This kind of That's stuff. It's awful. It's really, like, it's bad. But again, at the time, I don't, I can't speak because obviously I wasn't we around watching alive, it at yeah. the time. But... I would have thought there'd still be some trepidation about it, yeah. but I can't honestly say I know how it landed. God. You'd imagine it wouldn't be great. Absolutely I mean, that's where the heat not. is. They, they knew you should yeah. be saying that. Jesus. So he had like, that's how he had history with these people in there. Right, okay. One thing that's interesting about Roddy Piper as well, yeah. he refused to lose to Hulk Hogan. Really? Yeah. And it's smart. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Hulk Hogan beats everybody. Yes. Especially in this era. Well, mm-hmm. any era, Hulk Hogan wins. Well. That's the you can go in and argue, but more often than not, Hulk Hogan's winning that argument. Roddy Piper goes, no. Well, why not? Well, because if he beats me, what's the point of where's my? I've lost all my value. There's mm-hmm. no money in us doing it again. So Roddy was a smart businessman. I mean, yeah. to a point, mm-hmm. digging your heels in, just saying no. Because well, yeah. once you beat me, that's it. It's done. Yeah. So he made a point of never losing clean to Hulk Hogan. I think he eventually lost to him in WCW in like the mid nineties when no okay. one gave a shit and it. Didn't oh, matter. I see. Like it'd already been done. And I him. think Piper actually beat him first there. So, mm-hmm. it's, but yeah, so Piper was one of the few people to refuse to lose to Hulk Hogan in WWF. Interesting. So Mr. T going nuts on the apron. Yeah. Nose to nose when Piper does tag in, and this is one of those moments that you see in future, mm-hmm. then now forever stuff with the yes. two of them going squaring off. By the time anybody actually started this match, there was only 20 minutes left of the pay-per-view. Yes. So you must have been at least... I was a little wasn't. bit like, oh, okay. Thinking also in my head, I thought, well, I know this match isn't 20 minutes because they're definitely doing shit at the end. So that's interesting because normally by... I know it was a shorter show, but normally by this point in a show that we're reviewing, yes. you're like, I want it to end now. Yeah, I was all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I I'll was that surprised all. myself. So when the action actually starts, they exchange a couple of slaps. I yes. like that good like you're a bitch no mm-hmm. you're a bitch 
then Piper goes to his amateur wrestling background, which I don't know if he has, and uh, starts to take Mr. T down uh, through some <laughs> classical amateur holds. Is this where we get Piper's riding him? Yes, we get Piper's and riding him. it literally him. did look exactly like that. It very much did. Then Mr. T puts Piper on his shoulders and dumps him. Yeah. But T ends up in the wrong corner and it falls apart pretty quick. Chaos. I don't know what I've written here. Oh. I put... Oh, okay. So... Al, oh, Ali. I thought I put Al. I was like, who the hell's Al? Oh. Lou Albano? He wasn't in this. <laughs> Ali jumps in to maintain or regain order, I should say. Yeah, because he's the ref on the outside. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, ne- nearly oversteps his boundaries. He jumps on a- the apron. Absolutely oversteps yeah. at one or two points, but mm-hmm. I didn't really care. So. Uh, Piper, SL signals, up yours and go to leave. We're not doing this. Yeah. Imagine if that's how it ended. I literally put, surely it doesn't fucking end Because like you this. wouldn't have known, would you? Of no, course. absolutely not. Of course. Not. Hogan then taunts them in the ring, kind of getting the whole crowd behind them, and that's oh, enough. They come back. Do you know what I hoped for? And I knew it wasn't. I didn't think it was going to come because, yeah, I, de- I We know I like a Hogan finger wag. Yes, we N- do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was do. like, oh, is it? And then I thought, oh, is it too soon for that? No. When they when the heels do eventually return to the ring, they get a double noggin knocker. Is what they call that? <laughs> Clashing of the two heads together. Make that two, in fact. Atomic drop by Hogan on Piper, yeah. who continues to throw rights at the Scott. Double clothesline on Piper, followed by a body slam from Mr. T. Very nice hip toss on Orndorff. Okay. So Orndorff came in, and Mr. T almost did like a judo throw mm-hmm. hip toss on him. And I was like, That's, that looked pretty good, actually. I didn't like the camera at this point, though. It was too far. It stayed. Before Mr. T goes in, Yeah. I think when it's just Hogan in there, the camera angle stays far back okay. for quite a long time. And I was like, I'm assuming this is pur- like for a purpose. Yes. I don't know. But I was a bit like, please tell me it doesn't stay here for the rest of the match. Because it'd if be I'm annoying. a betting man, it's probably because the crowd was starting to get animated yeah. and standing up. So they wanted so to catch- show the crowd in it. Exactly. But for someone that's just watching on a, on a very small telly, as we've clearly established, it was hard for me to like actually see what the fuck was going on. Yep. Fair enough. No, that's a fair point. A big boot by Hogan sends Roddy over the top rope to the floor. Of course. And then Orndorff blindsides Hogan. So he comes out of nowhere. On the outside, Hot Rod <laughs> hits Hogan with a chair to the spine. That has someone's jacket on the back yeah, of it. Yeah, after that. <laughs> also, disqualification. Uh, honestly. There's like five refs. This is so stupid. Where's Ali? Why's Ali not, yeah, not no. laying hands ding, on Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. You're done. Again. Where's Liberace with his bell? Like, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got the... Dilly, 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 dilly. To start it like it was the last so, lap of a greyhound race or yeah. something. Uh, we see Ali actually then shepherds Orndorff and Hogan back into the ring. So he does do it. So a bit he late. does a little bit. Gets so. involved. Someone's told him to do nothing. But now Hogan's isolated. So that's interesting. Yeah. Probably because they didn't think Mr. T would be able to sell for a long period of time without yeah, it being unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Key keeps... Uh, Mr. Key. Mr. T <laughs> keeps trying to make the save. But this allows the heels to double team. So he's leaning in, trying to get in yeah. and run across the ring. It works because it looks like Mr. T's being naive and yes. that kind of plays into their hands. I'm okay with that. Then we see a double atomic drop and a suplex on Hogan by Mr. Wonderful. So the double atomic drop is where Hogan, I mentioned it earlier in yes. the show, takes it and then just falls to the floor like his yeah. legs were noodles. Good mm. selling, but not for that move. Yeah. And I've always liked the Hulk Hogan convulsing. The rah, 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 rah. Oh yeah, we've talked about that before, haven't we? I'm fine with that. <laughs> After a couple of tags, Orndorff takes flight with a standing elbow on the Hulkster. Yeah, I assume. I think that's, that's what, what it is. was, yeah. Then he goes back up top, but a flying knee misses the mark as Hogan moves. Absolutely, because why wouldn't you move? Of course. Hot tag to Mr. T, who gives eye rakes to both Piper and Orndorff. <laughs> yeah. Piper then blindsides T, and Gorilla once more says the phrase Pearl Harbor. So do you remember I mentioned oh, this yes. to you a few shows ago? That's a Gorilla monsoonism. Basically, if anyone sneaks and attacks on when they're not looking... He called it Pearl Harbor I because mm-hmm. in the events of Pearl Harbor, USA yeah. weren't expecting the attack that happened. No. Uh, we then get a messy map based exchange between Mr. Wonderful and Mr. T. So yeah. Wonderful just starts to kind of exert his like, no, no, we're doing he, what you stay yes. here and I do what I want. Yes. Uh, then Hogan manages to, to get back in and then is on fire ever so briefly. Mm-hmm. Orndorff regains control with a back suplex on the Hulkster. Nice move. Yeah, is that the bit where literally you end up just your kneeling down and someone's back is over your knee? Or has that already happened? That's a back break. I don't think I've got to that. Ah. Or, if, or if it has, I haven't missed it. Uh, I haven't yeah. written it down. 
My yeah, God. no, I think I missed that. Yeah, because yeah, when that did happen, I just watch it when it's on Hogan. I think, no wonder he is the way he is now. Because bloody hell, <laughs> it's like it's like trying to do that with a piece of wood. Yeah, well, but he's got no give. Yeah, no, true. Back, yeah. which yeah, is yeah. fair, you know. You don't have to, but it just. Oh, I just. I no, I didn't like. Didn't they like it? And then we see uh, Randy's daddy, Orton, get involved. Of course. So he comes in, but Snooker hits a ridiculous jumping headbutt mm-hmm. where he jumps. He's about four foot off the yeah, ground. Yeah, And Orton's just staring at him the whole time. Because he gets... fucking move. Yep. I laughed. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> then Patterson tries to regain order. You oh. see the wheels are starting to fall off. Chaos. As this is happening, Orton then comes back in, climbs up to the top rope. Mm-hmm. And as Orndorff has Hulk in a full Nelson hold... Um, Mr. T cuts off Piper so it's quite clever so Piper's ready to run and sock uh, unexpected Hogan Mr. T comes out the side grabs him so he yes. can't hit him they turn round Orton's up top mm-hmm. goes to take flight with the cast because this was Orton yeah. he genuinely broke his arm once but then his whole gimmick was I'm uh, just going to keep the cast on he kept the cast on because it's you know exactly so he went jumped off Hogan sees it last minute moves mm-hmm. position moves Orndorff into the way nice. Orndorff takes it on the back of the head Hulk hooks the leg and this mm. one is all over Yes, it is. However, I would just like to... Maybe it's because I had a small telly. I'm pretty sure fucking Hogan is stood up by two and a half. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, three does not hit the map before he's on his feet celebrating. Must have been a time constraint that we weren't aware of. They went, go home, go home, yeah, go quick. quick. <laughs> so what we see here is after that, Piper starts shouting at Orndorff having lost the match. And yeah. then he just like storms off, like, yeah. dismissive hand wave. And for whatever reason goes, fuck you, Pat Patterson. Yeah. Drops him once. Bit harsh. Yeah. Mr. T goes to shake Orndorff's hand, but Hogan goes, no, no, brother. Pulls yeah. him away. Because yeah. he just goes, it's really quite funny, actually. Yeah. And Hogan's like, no, no, that takes away from our moment. Hulk then poses with a titty dance. Oh, yeah. And then we hear Gorilla with maybe the line of all time. Oh, okay. A happening has happened. <laughs> I mean, he ain't That's wrong. That's every day. A every, happening's happened. I, I've just had a happening right now. <laughs> like, this is a happening. A happening has happened. And it has happened. It has. I start using that in my day-to-day life. Oh, 100%. I love gorilla monsoonisms. The yeah. uh, external occipital protuberance oh, as well for the back of the yeah. head. That's what I'm taking. Um, and yeah, we see them go backstage oh. where they're interviewed with Mean Gene. You don't need this. This I did not need. I needed the credits to be running by this T's point. Mr. got his hands on his hips. Yeah. He's blowing out his ears going, Pro wrestling stuff, man. Oh, he's just that's basically all he says and, and at the end can you dig it yeah Hulk. I was like hang on yeah hang on because oh, he's cool he's down with the kids <laughs> I was like where's Booker yeah. T what yeah can you dig it sucker <laughs> I was yeah, like really. what oh no because Hogan because he's with Mr T he feels like that oh. gives him street cred to be able like, to, what? to talk yeah like that exactly. like and then you just get Hogan just spouting off his oh, yeah. well let me tell you something dude yeah, and then just getting off the big man and the little man and the holster dude just that's so funny ridiculous nonsense and then yeah. you go to Jimmy Snook he's like yes with Mr T and Big Brother Hulk Big Brother Hulk you're like 79 mate what is wrong with you like he is well in his 40s there is that Tamina Tamina's da- dad yeah cool ta me I did na- ta- did na- google it but I was like I'm pretty sure it is yeah her brother also wrestled and was in do you remember oh I don't think you will because this was in the part where you weren't watching wrestling but uh, Juice and Domino. They came out Absolutely in like nineteen fifties greaser looking guys. No. Yeah. Uh, Sim Snooker, Jimmy's okay. son, and Tamina's brother was in that group. Oh. Shit. So I was gonna say what, I would say it runs in the family, but I never thought Jimmy Snooker was that great. He just did a bit of high flying, which was outside the ordinary for a guy of that size at that time. So. Yes. That brings us to the end yes, of it WrestleMania does. One.